Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the point system on your driver's license in Jamaica. Now, I know in other countries they have similar systems. So guys, you can let us know how it works in the country you live. But in Jamaica, they suspend your license after you accumulate a certain amount of points. Now, they recently put in a new system where it's fully computerized now, state-of-the-art system, well done by the government. So, when you're issued the ticket, everything is electronic. The police have the machines to enter the information, and then they print the ticket and give it to you. Everything is updated real-time, excellent system. So with this system, it's easier for the police to know how many points you have outstanding and easier to get the license suspended if necessary. Now it's very unfortunate to have to suspend somebody's license or even to give them a ticket. But there is so much lawlessness on the roads in Jamaica that you have to wonder how some people still have a driver's license the way they drive. So let's go through the point system so you know how many points you need before your license is suspended. So a license is suspended if the driver accumulates 10 or more points. I'm not sure what the time frame is for accumulating the 10 points, if it's one year or that's something. If anybody knows, you can leave a comment in the section below. Well, if you get 10 points, between 10 and 13 points, your license is suspended for six months. If you get between 14 and 19 points, your license is suspended for one year. 20 or more points, that's two years. Now, let's say you have 11 points and your license is suspended for six months. After the six months, you can go and get your license reinstated. And then once the suspension period is over, the points are expunged and you go back to zero. So let's say you get 11 points, your license is suspended for six months. After the six months, your points go back to zero. Now I'm sure that there is a time frame after which the points, like if you get a ticket for say, not wearing a seatbelt, that carries two points. How long do those two points stay on the system? Let's say you get no more points for the year. Do Are those two points expunged and you go back to zero? That part I'm not sure about. And guys, how does it work in the countries that you live in? How many points do you need to get your license suspended? And what happens within the year? Are the points at the end of the one year? How long are the points on the system for? Do they disappear after a year if you get no more? How does it work? Now, it's the Island Traffic Authority that has the power to take away or suspend the driver's license. The Island Traffic Authority. And this power was given to them in the Road Traffic Act of 2018 and the road traffic regulation of 2022. So if you want to get back your license now after it is suspended and the period has, let's say it's 11 points and the six months have passed, you need to go to the tax office and pay a fee, $3,000. And then you take that receipt to the Island Traffic Authority where then a letter will be generated and you take that letter back to the um, tax office, you pay another fee and then your license will be reinstated. Not sure why they have it where you go to the tax office, you pay a fee, you go to the traffic authority, you get a letter. I mean, it's the year 2023, everything is supposed to be computerized. Can't you link the tax office to the traffic authority so that you just go to the tax office, pay both fees, 
the processing fee and the reinstatement fee and then you're good to go where well, you have to go to the traffic authority just to get a letter those are the systems that will slow down productivity but that's just my opinion guys let me know what you think let me know what you think but it's very good that they have this point system and it's very good that it's computerized because the lawlessness on the road needs to stop people are blatantly running the red lights they're not i mean you guys have seen the video so you know what's going on out there now another thing that's needed and i'm not sure what the hold up is but the law was passed to allow tickets to be issued via camera footage. So if you're on the red light and a camera catches you, you're supposed to be issued a ticket with points. But I'm not sure why that has not been, why they haven't been issuing tickets like that. So we will check on it. And if anybody knows, you can leave a comment in the section below. Alright guys, thanks for taking a tour with us today. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Have a good day.